morning everyone and welcome to Rhymers Will Be Readers for Monday, June 6th, 2022. My name is Michelle. I'm one of the Early On facilitators with Oxford Early On. I may have already met you in person or online and if not, I look forward to meeting you in one of our indoor explorers, outdoor adventures, or virtual village programs. Let's start with our welcome song. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on this Monday morning. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on this springtime morning. So as I look out my window, it looks like it's a little bit cloudy, a little bit sunny, and when I look at the trees, a little bit windy, and when I look at the trees, I notice all the different greens and different colors. Springtime is a really beautiful, beautiful time. But today with the weather, when I also look at my weather app, which I love to do and check out the weather, is that the weatherman tells us we might get some rain later this afternoon and some thunderstorms. So today, weather-wise, looks like it'll be a mixture of everything, which can be kind of fun to notice the different changes, how the clouds change, how the wind feels, even sometimes the contrast of color, so the difference of color against the sun or the color against a dark sky as well. Sometimes with the dark gray clouds, the colors become even brighter, which is beautiful to look at. And it's remembering that with all that rain that may be coming, it helps everything grow. So one thing that we might be talking about to, uh, this week as facilitators is some outdoor activities that we can be doing in the springtime and moving into the summer. So a lot of times when I think about outdoor activities, I think about the beach. So I have a song and I hope that I could do the tune. So have patience with me. I'll try it out. And it's called Let's Go to the Beach. So it goes, let's go to the beach to swim and play and run. Building castles in the sand is ever so much fun. We'll fix a picnic lunch and eat it when we like. And when we are nice and full, we'll take a nature hike. So there's are two things that you can be doing outside at the beach, building sandcastles and taking a nature hike and having, well, three things, I guess, and eating and having a picnic. And then be sure to wear your suit and bring along a float. We'll ride so far out in the surf, pretending it's a boat. So there's swimming at the beach as well. We'll find some pretty shells and throw the gulls some bread. Put on a lot of suntan oil so that we don't turn red. We'll never want to leave. Such fun this has all been. But we'll come back another day and do it all again. So there's so many outdoor activities that you can do when you go to the beach. I hope that you've either already been to the beach or plan to go to the beach. Remember your sunscreen, your hats, your pails and shovels to build sandcastles, your food to have a picnic, and even some shoes that you can take a nature hike around the beach as well. So that's a fun outdoor activity to do that I personally enjoy, and I hope that you enjoy it too and have lots of opportunity in the spring and summer to do that. So another thing that happens at the beach sometimes is that we see waves. So I think this is the same tune, but with different words. So I, I encourage you to pay attention to the different words, thinking about the waves. The waves move up and down without making a sound. They move through the water and through the air. The waves move up and down, the waves move up and down. Without making a sound, they move everywhere. So the next time you're at the beach, do the waves make sounds? Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's really soft 
and quiet the waves. And sometimes the waves can be crashing, especially if it's windy. Let's try this song again. The waves move up and down without making a sound. They move through the water and through the air. The waves move up and down. The waves move up and down without making a sound. They move everywhere. So the next time you see some waves, you can either go swimming in them. You can jump the waves, which is fun. You can have a little floaty and you can ride the waves on those on those little floaty pieces as as well, which is a lot of fun um, too. But jumping the waves, holding your mom or your dad's hand or holding both their hands is a fun activity to do outside as well as at the beach. So another one I was thinking about, excuse me, while I move my paper is I was thinking about another outdoor activity that we all seem to like to do is go on a nature hike. And so nature hikes in Oxford County, I am learning as I am new to Oxford County, that there are so many trails to find in Oxford County, which is amazing to, to see and all the beauty around us as well. So sometimes when you are out and about, you may see some creatures. So one creature that I was thinking about that I have a little rhyme for you is an owl. You may spot an owl when you're out and about on a nature walk. So here's the rhyme. It goes, there's a wide eyed owl with a pointed nose, two pointed ears and claws for toes. He sits high in a tree and when he looks at you, he flaps his wings and says, oh, that's right, hoo, 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 hoo. So when you're on a nature walk, you can look for an owl or you can pretend to be an owl and flap your wings and say, hoo, hoo. Let's do that rhyme again. There was a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose with two pointed ears and claws for toes. He lives high in a tree and when he looks at you, he flaps his wings and says, hoo, hoo. So again, when you try that out, you can pretend to be an owl or you can look for an owl. And when you pretend, you can pretend to flap your wings and say, hoo, hoo, which is a fun activity to do that uses both your gross motor skills, so using your whole body when you do your nature walk, as well as your cognitive, so your mind, using your pretend play and imagination, which is a lot of fun to do. So another piece that often we do, you, your parents might be doing it, your parents might be doing it with you as well, is planting. That's an outdoor activity. It's a fun activity to do that produces flowers, fruits, and vegetables. So that's gardening. So I have a little song as well to the tune of row, row, row your boat. So it goes, dig, dig, dig the earth. Then you plant the seeds. A gentle rain and bright sunshine will help the flowers grow. Let's try that again. So it's a short one, so it's a, it's a simple one to remember so that when you are planting seeds and gardening with your parents, you can sing that along. It reminds us that we need the rain and we need the sun to help things grow. So it goes, dig, dig, dig the earth, then you plant the seeds. A gentle rain will flutter down and bright sunshine will help the flowers grow. I think I added something there too, but that's okay. Sometimes it's fun to kind of add things, add things in as we go. So as you can imagine, I'm going to encourage you this week to get outside and do your favorite activities. But first, I wanna really look at the literacy calendar because sometimes that literacy calendar has really fun, good ideas. And so when I look at it, it says for today, June 6th, to read something new. So check out ocl.net or visit an Oxford County Library branch and find something new to read. 
And I encourage you with that. Outdoor activity can also be reading outside, put it, laying out a blanket, laying out a chair and reading a book with your parents outside. The other fun piece that I noticed on the literacy calendar that seems like it would be really cool to try is nature painting. So using different tools like a stick or a leaf from your yard and paint the alphabet. You can, you can grab some paper, grab some paint, and just a stick or a leaf and or anything else that you find. Use your, use your creativity and paint the alphabet and have fun. So those, so we've talked about hiking and swimming and gardening, and then even reading and painting outdoors. There are so many things that we can do outdoors in the springtime and in the summertime. So get outside and enjoy. So it's already time to say goodbye. So get your goodbye train ready. The goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo choo. Oh, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo choo. The goodbye train is coming. The goodbye train is coming. The goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo choo. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you either in person or online. Take care. Bye.